G'day Frothers, welcome back. And something a little different today, we're gonna to be taking a look at an old bolt. Now this is not meant to be in my hands right now, it is meant to be in a route uh, about an hour from here. This is the first bolt from a climb and it actually literally just popped out, sleeve and all, uh, when one very unlucky climber fell on it. This was the very first bolt. They ended up taking a fall or weighting it and the climb has a bit of an apron at the bottom. So the belayer was actually standing a bit out from the wall, which you just have to do in this case. So apparently the bolt was a little loose, I guess because the belayer was out when it got weighted, it literally just popped straight out of the wall. So if we take a closer look at this thing, we can see that it's basically a standard 12 millimeter flush head sleeve anchor, and it is in stainless steel. It's Maxim brand, so it says Maxim there, and there's a little M in the sleeve there, pretty cute. And that's a fairly common uh, construction fastener brand here in Australia. So I've shown you these in the past, and these are more or less the preferred style of bolt around here, the preferred style of mechanical anchor anyway, because they go in nice and flush. They usually are less prone to spinning and coming loose than the ones with the nuts on the outside, and they have a nice clean surface uh, that's not going to foul your carabiner as easily as some other styles of bolt. But like any mechanical anchor, or anything threaded really, they can actually come loose. So if you're not familiar with how these work, uh, I'll just disassemble it. So we have the little nut at the inside and that's actually like a cone wedge shaped. We have the sleeve, we have a bolt. They, they're usually fully threaded. And in this case, that's a 10 millimeter hole. And so when you put the bolt in, the sleeve is pressing against the back of the hanger like that. So you bash it in the hole and then when you're tightening it up, that tightening the bolt will screw the nut down. The nut is grooved, so it's not supposed to rotate. And basically that expands and then that grips the sides of the hole. But the usual kind of failure mode we see with these ones is actually just a perma spinner. So here's one I prepared, I don't even know, many years ago. Um, so this one was just a perma spinner and that will basically be loose, but not coming out because the nut has seized onto the bottom of the bolt there. And that can happen on these sometimes, you know, stainless steel is pretty prone to galling. When that happens, you know, the bolt isn't really gonna pull out by itself, uh, but usually it'll be a bit loose and it'll need to be replaced. Now, sometimes these ones are removable intact, but it really depends on the brand. Some brands have a fairly uh, loose fitting sleeve that goes into the hole very easily like that and I won't I won't knock it all the way in but basically the way you can remove these you loosen it off when it's a bit loose you can sometimes jam a hammer under there create a little, little bit of room and then you get some pliers ideally vice grips little pointy vice grips and you can get under there and grab it by the sleeve and you can pull it out and so that's the case with this one this is how I got that out so this is the one that our unlucky climber managed to remove by him, by his body weight. So how the hell did this come out? Yeah, it seems like, yeah, it seems like it's basically just gonna be a slightly looser fitting sleeve. If we take a close look, we can see that these little catch points here, they're kind of worn down. So what I think has happened is, is basically, this has been a bit loose for a while. It's been moving around inside the hole and because it's a first bolt in the apron, there's always this axial pull going on. So I think it's basically just moved around. Maybe over the years, some people have tightened it once or twice, but basically it's just managed to come out fully. So by some mechanical freak occurrence, oh, there you go, it has actually pulled it out. A lot of us were quite surprised that that even happened because if you pull, because if you pull on the bolt, it should still expand the sleeve and grab the sides of the hole. But because he fell on it, it was pressed down to one side, and you can see that this side here is scraped, so I'm guessing that side was down. So basically that has pressed the sleeve against the bolt like that, and stopped uh, the cone going in like that. It's just ended up right next to the cone and prevented the cone from pulling through. Basically, yeah, pressing down, pulling out, it prevented the, the cone 
from engaging the sleeve as it's supposed to. So there you go, guys. It looks like this is just basically a bit of a freak occurrence of the kind that does happen occasionally. And really this exact failure is probably something that's gonna be kind of unique to that exact sort of situation. You've got a crux down low, a first bolt that people are falling on all the time. Uh, you've also got an apron, so your belayer is standing well back. Also, this is escape maintenance. Somehow, apparently the bolt was already loose, but in the area where this occurred, usually the bolt fairies are right onto stuff like this. So somehow this escapes notice. So to have a catastrophic failure like this, there are often quite a number of things that have to go wrong uh, to, to allow that to happen. And in this case, yeah, it has happened. Now the climber is obviously pretty lucky, it wasn't very high up, it was just the first bolt but still did get a bit of a head knock. And that is the kind of thing that can rattle you, especially if you're new to climbing. So next steps are probably gonna be a bolt fairy will replace this bolt, reuse the hole because obviously the hole is still sitting there and whack in a nice ring bolt with a good epoxy glue, which should last a good hundred years. And more importantly, won't just wiggle loose because of people falling on it or you know whatever's going on there. So guys, moral of the story is, just, you know, if you see something, say something. Don't let loose bolts go unattended. And if you have a problem bolt like this that has needed tightening a few times, just replace it, get a glue in in there. One other thing to discuss as a community is should you have a second bolt there? Um, if there's a crux low down and a lot of people are falling on the first bolt, you know, maybe it's a good idea to actually have a second bolt not too far below it. So you don't have just one attachment point between you and disaster, you know, People can interact with the quick draws as they climb past, especially if they're cruxing out, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. So, you know, is this a bolt failure? Well, yeah, technically, like anything like this, there's always a cascade of things and it usually comes down to just management systems. So make sure your, your bolt ferries, your rebolting crews, your crag care people uh, are on top of these things and that make sure that climbers know how to raise the, the alarm if they do encounter stuff like this, because really it shouldn't be getting to that point ever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Scratch you later.